like working with Lisa, who has been on the couch yeah. and spoken about you two and, and how she does adore you. And a little while ago it came out that you two aren't even, that don't like each other. Where does that come from? Well, I don't know. If you, <laughs> this, is, this is one of the other things that, one of the things I've had to get used to, I suppose, is this kind of interest, is trying to put us into a headline, which yeah. again, when you're the journalist on the road covering news stories of the day, you know, this is not something that you're familiar with, right? So, yeah. um, and this is probably the, the weirdest one I've had to deal with. Um, when it's something like, oh, Sylvia and Pete go for a romantic stroll through Bondi Beach wearing a red shirt and blue pair of pants. Well, that's fine, because mm. it's, you know, whatever. Um, but when it is completely false and also nasty, um, mm. It's just, it's really, uh, it, it kind of knocked me a little bit at first um, because I didn't, and I called Lisa, Lisa was in New York straight away and I had this mm. call saying, oh, we've got this, what do you make of it? And I called Lisa, I said, look, this is what someone wants to write about. Um, I had to call you straight away because I just want you to hear it from my yeah. voice first yeah. before someone else writes to you or calls you or you read it in a newspaper or something. And we're both on the phone trying to figure out where it could have come from or how someone could make this up. Because anyone who works with us would know. sees every day how well yeah. we get along um, yeah. and how much I lean on her, you know, as well. Um, and so it just seemed, it, 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 was, it was odd, basically. Yeah. It was really odd. And for me, it was sort of a, um, the first time I had encountered something like it. Um, so anyway, but anyway, I mean, it's, it's always going to happen, isn't it? And yeah. But where, how do, you, do you reckon that sometimes people... It, whoever wrote about that, I don't even know where it came from, but where, do you reckon that they literally go, let's see how, what we can get from this? Uh, I wonder I, how it works in there or do they get... I think sometimes, I, I, don't, I don't understand the mentality yeah. of someone who would do that because I would never do that. So mm. I can't really say, I suppose, what exactly they're trying to achieve out of something like that. No. Um, but obviously some people get off on writing about how women in the workplace don't get along yeah. um, and they find that entertaining or maybe it's clickbait and obviously yeah. it's clickbait, everything's clickbait um, and breakfast television is clickbait so um, in that respect we've got big targets on our back. So, um, Which you is know. so fucked isn't it? Because you go let's not go that angle, let's just yeah. not go that angle of women not supporting exactly. each other. Um, and at first I didn't want to give any oxygen to it because I thought I, I just don't even think it's worthy of a response because yeah. it was just so ridiculous and absurd um, but I'm so glad that Lisa addressed it the way she did in, in that Instagram post that she put up um, because they deserve to be called out yeah. on that story because it yeah. was ridiculous um, but look the, the crux of it is we're great mates mm. we completely support each other I'm so supported by her every day yeah. and vice versa um, and we're actually lucky you know I think you'd be hard pressed finding two women in the workplace who get on better than we do. Yeah, um, so it's, <laughs> it, and if anything, I said this to her the other day, if anything, they've, it's like their whole plan has been foiled because it's brought us closer together yeah, because yeah. we've been verbalising our love for each yeah. other oh, <laughs> for the last few drums. weeks. You know, you take things I for granted. I on that. I know. Oh God, oh, I know. It's I very like, exclusive. <laughs> it's very exclusive. There's something quite magical about that woman. There like, is. Oh, compl she is superhuman. Yeah. And, you know, she, the, the woman barely sleeps. She runs her family and has, the, you know, she has this remarkably beautiful family. Her children adore her clearly. Obviously mm. her husband adores her yeah. and she adores her husband. Um, but she is, she is a woman who has forged a really fascinating and um, an impressive path in her mm. career and she's allowed many other women to follow that path. Yeah. Um, and I'm one of them, mm. really. I feel like I'm pretty privileged to be, to be on that path that she has blazed for us um, and she continues to you know she's a really impressive woman and I'm so lucky to sit next to her and to feed off her every day yeah because when you did your you won the fun and fearless Cosmo yeah award and you said that you were like the grasshopper yeah and she's your, she's my master she's yeah. your master which is so beautiful too yeah and also to go okay we're friends but she's a mentor mm. to you as well yeah it's pretty special it is really special um, and she you know she's so cool and we talk yeah. about everything yeah. you know and not just uh, probably we speak more about personal things than yeah, work things, yeah, to be great. honest. Yeah. Um, because she's just such a cool woman. Um, and, and she's so generous too with mm. her personal experiences and, yeah. um, and things like that. So, you know, and I know that 
down the track when you know there are kids in my life I'll be able to ask her about that and yeah. what do I do and yeah, how do I cope yeah. and how do I manage that and things like that so um, yeah so I'm you know I'm, I'm hugely grateful and hugely lucky to have her in my yeah. life.